Hey, just after 5 o'clock on your Thursday evening, welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. I always say this, but it's always true because... I saved the best for last for you uh, here at Central Valley Talk. And joining us live in our Tower District studios today, uh, six, seven months later, uh, once again, we've got uh, Coach Juarez from Sanger High School. Welcome back, brother. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, because you were last on when you were promoting the uh, 4th of July yeah, fireworks. Yeah, we had so, our uh, fireworks stand Yeah, yeah uh, on Academy in Sanger. And I follow you on Instagram. Um, mm -hmm. You've been very busy, especially with the, the ladies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give the update. Well, uh, we are finishing up. We're wrapping up our regular season, uh, just regular season schedule. Uh, this is our last week of regular season competition. And uh, tomorrow we actually have our last home duel uh, mm -hmm. at the high school. Uh, versus Selma High School, so we're going to be celebrating girls' senior night, so boys and girls will be wrestling tomorrow night uh, starting at 6, 6 okay. o'clock at home. Um, but, uh, yeah, the team has been, both teams, boys and girls, have been doing very well this season. Um, boys have had a handful of tournaments mm -hmm. where they finished top five uh, as a team uh, as far as team points go and our individual placers at those tournaments. And uh, girls actually uh, last uh, about a week ago, um, they wrestled at the Lady Chick Chansey Invitational, uh, and they brought home the Here's first the place pictures. trophy. There we go. Yeah, wow. so there, that picture is there okay. from uh, Arm Parks. Um, those are our three finalists that we had okay. at that tournament. Um, that's Ashley Slatowitz, our 143-pounder, and Mia McMillan, our 111-pounder. and These that ladies is Gabby put Flores. me to... Shame. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm no, you're good. Yeah, like, no. Oh my god. That was an exciting tournament. Wow. Uh, that was actually our uh, second tournament of the year, and we wow. finished third as a team there. And um, they got final singlets for making the finals, so they were wearing their final singlets. So we took that photo right before the finals. So. Awesome. So that was very exciting for them. Yeah. Um, and uh, the tournament that the girls won at Lady Chick Chansey was their fourth tournament of okay. the year. Uh, bringing home a first place trophy team trophy so you know we're our you know our goal is to be prepared for this postseason and uh hopefully you know bring home a area one uh championship for the girls and that would be the first championship uh, program history so it's very exciting you know I, and I, I tell the girls all the you know boys and girls i tell them uh everything that we've done this regular season is just leading up to it's preparing us for postseason so very, you know, very important. We stay focused, stay healthy, and mm -hmm. um, get ready for this upcoming postseason. Talk a little bit as uh, a, a, you know, head head coach during COVID sucked because mm -hmm. you know uh, yeah. you didn't have full seasons. Yeah, couldn't practice as much. I mean, um, so this year finally getting a full season again. Yeah. How does that? Yeah, so getting back, good. getting back in the groove, you know, um, we're we, us as coaches, you know, we've been we missed it, and mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is what we do. This is what we've know, you know, full on season from you know preparing from preseason uh, mm -hmm. September all the way till end of you know February for you know the postseason and state championship. So that's what we prepare ourselves for, and it's very exciting that we get to. Um, have our full season this year, so especially our postseason. How, yeah. how, how, um, what about the the players? Are they just like delighted this year? Yeah, I have a I have an awesome group of kids. Uh, they're all dedicated, and you know they all they, we work very hard in the room for practice, and you know it's starting to show. And you know, looking back at day one from now, it's just we have a completely different team and. Wow. Um, they're very bonded together and they're one big family and it's awesome to see something like that. Tell me, you know, wrestling, high school wrestling here, um, well, in, in Central California, but even uh, going outside, yeah. how competitive is it uh, for, for the boys and girls? Yeah, so the Central section is by far the toughest section in the mm, state wow. when it comes to wrestling, especially for... Uh, our boys okay. um, we take uh, 10 from the central section masters from e each weight class 
and move on to state, which is the most in any section that any section has. The southern section has nine. So uh, very important that on our schedule we travel to mm -hmm. see different schools from southern section or northern section um, so we can compete against them just to see how, you know, we match up against them and get ready to see them, you know, for, you know, the ultimate uh, – the, you know, we want to be at that state tournament and uh, be able to compete at the at highest level possible. So um, I had a few. We The girls traveled to Albany, California, okay. and we went to Albany High School. Where's and, that? Uh, San Francisco area. No, oh, okay. Yeah, right. nor, uh, north. Okay. Um, it was a good team bonding trip for them. Um, and we ended up uh, bringing home the first place team trophy, which was awesome. We had one individual champion, yeah. um, three finalists, I believe and uh, quite a few placers, so they, did, they wrestled really well. Um, and I was awesome to see other teams. So we were the, actually the only central section team there at that tournament, which is pretty, pretty cool to get away yeah. from everybody sure. and get to compete against other schools from other sections. So and having awesome. that, that bonding experience yeah. is critical. Yeah, very good. Especially yeah. after the last two No, years. yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, uh, you know, the boys uh, last weekend, we, they traveled to Overfelt High School okay. uh, in San Jose. So okay. we got to see nice. um, schools from that area, which was awesome. Um, and they finished uh, fifth as a team okay. there uh, at Overfelt. And we had uh, a finalist. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, which was Tomas Takeda, uh, our heavyweight, which is he's ranked right now top 40 in the state. So he's, you know, looking pretty good to move on, you know, to uh, throughout postseason, getting a high, high level competition. Isn't that, that's so. that's got to be so gratifying each year seeing your, you know, uh, your pride, your joy. Yeah your sweat, your tears, yeah. you know, and then seeing these these guys and girls go from high school to college to yeah. pro no, in yeah, some cases, awesome. you know, yeah, pro wrestling. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Um, you know, our my, my coaching staff has worked very hard this season getting the kids prepared and showing technique and, you know, writing down mistakes that we see and mm -hmm. fixing them at practice the following week. So they've done an outstanding job when it comes to that and getting every detail down that the kids need to work on. So... Um, I'm very thankful for my coaching staff. We've got a fundraiser going on right now, right? Are yeah. We the, wh what's going on? So uh, this is the first year that we're doing this, and uh, it's called Vertical Raise. Um, and it is basically we launched it uh, a week, about a week ago now, and we have two weeks left. And it is uh, we're taking donations for our wrestling team, for and it benefits both boys and girls wrestling program. Um, so, you know, it's going to benefit the kids by covering future travel costs, um, hotel, you know, anything like that, like overnight stays, um, and uniforms. And, you know, the ultimate goal when I, when us coaches fundraise is, you know, we don't want the kids to spend a dime when it comes to the season, you know, that's the ultimate goal and, um, gives them time just to don't worry about purchasing anything you focus on wrestling focus on getting better and we'll provide you with everything we can to That's make huge. you successful so um uh, okay as uh we've got just a couple minutes left but i, I do want to talk a little bit about um what you're looking ahead to uh this summer uh, obviously oh, yeah. well you know the rest of this season but then this summer and then looking ahead to the rest of 2022 for you guys yeah so um towards the end of this uh high school season uh, we're gonna launch uh, sanger warpath in the spring uh which is freestyle different style nice. for uh, the youth okay. so we launched that and uh, we have a competition schedule um coming up which we're uh working on right now um and we had the privilege of getting to host uh, the CVWA uh, Youth Championships at Sanger High, which is going to benefit us as a fundraiser. So uh, it's going to be a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, tournament for us to host. Uh, that's something that, uh, you know, we we use uh, as a fundraiser for the program. Um, so every year we try to host a tournament, and uh, we're I'm thankful that we're able to get the opportunity to host the, the actual championships, which is going to be huge uh, turnout. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, everything goes successful and everything goes well. And then we're looking ahead to this summer. 
you, are you going to do the fireworks sales again? Yeah, so that's the plan. Um, and I even memorized the address. You know, we've been doing it for quite a, quite a couple of years now. I yeah. think it's shoot four or five. I lost track, but uh, yeah, it's seven seven South Academy Avenue. That's our spot. That's where, where we've been at every year. So uh, and that's a huge that's a huge fundraiser for us. Um, is that would you say that's one of your biggest fundraisers? Yeah, so that is one of our biggest fundraisers. I would say probably top two. Uh, our biggest fundraiser would be the tournament, uh, high school tournament we host. We host the boys JV and girls uh, varsity tournament okay. uh, at Sanger High School, and that uh, that turnout can be tremendous. So um, the more you know, the more teams, obviously, the better uh, fundraiser we have, um, selling stuff and getting vendors out there and trying to uh, you know fundraise for the team. So and we just had our tournament January 15th and it was pretty successful and I'm glad we had the uh, opportunity to host it with every you know with everything going on so I'm glad our district allowed us to have something like that it's great especially yeah yeah again the last two years yeah. we've had I think you know um, it, it's nice that things are different now no so. yeah yeah. Um, okay, now if uh, somebody wants more information, uh, they can connect with you what, at SangerWrestling.com? Yeah, right? so uh, they could click the uh, contact us on SangerWrestling.com. I'll okay. get an email from that, or uh, they could message us on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook. Uh, we try to have as much social media as we can, so uh, I'm pretty good at replying and um, anything that they, uh, if they have any questions, and they can also email me. Um, uh, th through that website as well, like I just said. Um, but yeah. Uh. Next time you come on, you know what? We we should bring some of the some of your players on. Yeah, that'd be you awesome. Know? Yeah, uh, talk to them and what their yeah. experience has been like. Uh, and then obviously uh, you'll come back before Fourth of July. So yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll promote the heck out of yeah, that. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and people can uh, donate. It, it, they they can re talk to you about donations too. Yeah, that, so. yeah, that'd be awesome. And uh, just you know, our vertical raise. You could click the link on Facebook, right. Twitter. Um, it's also on Instagram. I've been promoting it. So uh, everything, uh, any, all of those donations will go back to the program, go back to the kids. So that's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Very, very good. And and I love that, you know, that saying of, you know, we don't want our stars mm -hmm. to have to worry about paying yeah. for stuff. They've got school yeah. and the game yeah. to focus on, yeah. you know, so... Um, very good. Happy New Year. Thanks yeah. for coming back. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right. I'm Austin Reed. That's going to do it for Central Valley Talk. Uh, this For this Thursday, we'll be back Saturday live starting at noon. In the meantime, uh, have a great upcoming weekend as well. Central.